Hello, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for phone banking with us tonight. Um, I'm seeing some names, Richard S. and Brian Skipman. Could you all turn your cameras on just so I can make sure we have everyone here we should for this phone bank? You look a lot, are you Bradley Whitford from Westwick? I am what's left of him. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Everybody. Hi. And Richard Schiff. Yes, Richard Schiff is there too. We just wanted to say hi to all you people who are phone banking and thank you because uh, if you're doing this, you know, uh, you know how important this election is. Um, unmute yourselves and tell us who you are and why you're doing this. Sarah. Uh, no, Sarah. Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. Um, I'm the comms director for the St. Croix County Dems. Um, and I, my son is upstairs organizing right now for DPW. Um, and I do this for my kids. I, the thought of what is going to happen to this country if we lose this election uh, terrifies me. Uh, this is embarrassing. I'm wearing the hoodie that I wore last night because I worked on political stuff until 1 a.m. and then rolled right into work. So I'm wearing my son's pajama pants. I haven't had time to do one. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask a question. Like, what do you, what do you guys, how do you guys talk to um, people who might still be on the fringe? I'm curious about what you tell. What, how do you, how do you talk to them? When I'm talking to someone who seems to be on the fence, and um, I try not to lecture to them. I try to figure out what it is that matters to them most, because in on every possible issue, Biden Harris are better. The first time I met Biden in 2000, way back in 2000, uh, well, I met him in 04, but in 06, uh, we met after a debate in Charleston, and he wanted to meet me, which was, you know, very cool. And I sat down with him in the courtyard in, uh, in the courtyard over pizza and Cokes with him and his, and his two sons. And the first thing he said was, what are your issues? What are you con most concerned about? Uh, and Biden knows how to, uh, how to make it about the voter. He knows how to make it about citizens. He knows how to how to show uh, actual care for for what the, the concerns are. What are the struggles that they're going through at this point in time, so that he can begin to address them. No other politician I've ever met has spent three hours listening to what I have to say. That has never happened. So, Richard, my name is Heather, and I hate to talk on the phone. I don't even like to order pizza. Uh, but I decided that I would rather call strangers, uh, you know, 100 times a weekend than lose this election. So all summer long, we've been making what we've been calling bridge building calls, where we've been reaching out to voters where we know they're registered, they haven't voted in the last couple of cycles, and we're not quite sure where they're falling. The people who are on this call right now who are volunteering know how to have those conversations in such a personal, authentic way that it's really convincing. And I can imagine somebody standing in the booth you know, on November 3rd, thinking about a phone call they got from one of us um, over the summer. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say, because Clarissa won't say it about herself, Clarissa has trained the hell out of me and um, definitely is just doing such good work. And she is a compelling reason also to be involved. So I just wanted to say good job to her. Um, also, I love you guys. I'm so psyched. <laughs> We love you back. We love you all, and we're so grateful for what you're doing. Ditto. Thank you so much for joining us here in St. Croix County. Bye. <laughs>